Type 1 and Type 2 errors. Type 1 error, the mistake of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is actually true. The symbol alpha is used to represent the probability of a type 1 error. Alpha is equal to the probability of a type 1 error, which is equal to the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. A type 2 error is the mistake of failing to reject the null hypothesis when it is actually false. The symbol beta is used to represent the probability of a type 2 error. So beta is equal to the probability of a type 2 error, which is equal to the probability of failing to reject the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is actually false. So here is another table here. The preliminary conclusion, the true state of nature, which is a null hypothesis is true, and the true state of nature when the null hypothesis is false. So if we reject the null hypothesis, which is the preliminary conclusion, and the null hypothesis is true, then it's a type 1 error. We reject a true null hypothesis where the probability of the type 1 error is equal to alpha. And then the true state of nature for the null hypothesis is false would be the correct decision. Now, for the preliminary conclusion where we fail to reject the null hypothesis, the true state of nature, which is a null hypothesis is true, would be the correct decision. Now, if the true state of nature where the null hypothesis is false, then this would be the type 2 error, where we fail to reject a false null hypothesis. So therefore, the probability of a type 2 error is equal to beta. Now, hint for describing type 1 and type 2 errors. Descriptions of a type 1 error and a type 2 error refer to the null hypothesis being true or false, but when wording a statement representing a type 1 error or a type 2 error, be sure that the conclusion addresses the original claim, which may or may not be the null hypothesis.